check out these adventures. Hello everyone, welcome to our weekend vlog. We are waking up, it's Saturday. Jack's actually upstairs trying to wake Mason up. Like the last few weekends, they are going to hitting early this morning, trying to beat the heat, because it's gonna be another hot one. Um, so while they're trying to wake up and get up, I got breakfast started. Got one down, about ready to make the next one for Mason. So they can get something in their belly. And then they're gonna head off, get some hitting in. I will stay back, do my usual. I've been getting laundry done Saturday morning. It's kind of nice to get things done. And then once the boys get home, I'm not really for sure, don't have too many plans. Um, our plan, uh, well, definitely our plans this weekend is to hydrate Mason because as you guys know, if you've been watching like our last vlog, you know that he starts practice on Monday. So we wanna make sure that he's hydrated all weekend rested, ready to go to have his first high school practices starting this week coming up. But uh, let me get to breakfast. Happy weekend. How was breakfast? Delicious. Boys are about ready to head out, but like I said, lots of water. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Yeah. Don't forget to drink the water. Look, there's my water. Not getting any cooler out, that's for sure. Mason's out in the garage getting all his gear ready. Yeah. Jack was thinking ahead. He made extra breakfast so that he can have breakfast Monday morning when he goes back to work. That's so smart of him. Welcome home, boys. Did you remember to get me a drink this time? Oh, yeah, her. We didn't forget the last two times. It's just, it's too far away. I know, I know. Otherwise, they would bring me yes, a drink. Absolutely. Although, I kind of like this. I haven't been drinking soda, so I feel a little bit better. How's your soda, Jack? Good. <laughs> Mason, what do you always get? Hot and miserable, it tastes amazing. <laughs> Mason gets uh, ocean water, right? Not today. Oh, you got something different? I got a slushie. <gasps> slushie? I ever get an ocean water? We also washed the truck, too, while we were gone. You guys did? Yes. Oh. Smells clean, looks clean, and it's Awesome, fabulous. boys. It's definitely lunchtime going on 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm going to probably figure out something to eat for lunch. I have those leftover mashed potatoes. You want to do loaded mashed potatoes? Sure. Ooh, maybe some chicken nuggets in there too. I don't know. We definitely need to get to the grocery store. A chicken nugget. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you're home. I missed you boys. You guys, I am so sad we missed the SpaceX launch. Um, I was watching it during the week when they had to scratch it due to bad weather in Florida and just realized that we missed it just now. So I'm watching the replays of it, but safe travels to those astronauts. So incredible that we can do that, to send people up to space. Anybody else agree with me? So strange, but awesome all at the same time. I got lunch ready for them. Um, these are the mashed potatoes that I did in the Instant Pot with our dinner on Thursday night. So I just loaded them up. I know it's not the healthiest thing, but it's so good. And all of you guys that recommended chicken nuggets, these are my gluten-free ones, and the um, air fryer, thank you, amazing. <laughs> Technically, this is your birthday crate, Mason. This oh, is, yeah. I know we only have two more days of May, today and tomorrow, and then we'll be in June. It's but because of mind. COVID, shipping got a little behind, which we understand, but it's here, and Mason's super excited. Do you know what to do, Mason? Yes. So guys, you see this amazing plate crate? You can follow them on Instagram. And if you post your plate crate or something you got from your plate crate, or you buy a pair of buy them, you can use hashtag myplaycrate, which is awesome. Use links down below and you can buy yourself a plate crate just like this one. Well, not this exact month theme, but the next one, which is already released on their Instagram, if you wanna check that out. Not gonna spoil. But you can use our promo code VIVO20 for $20 off your first purchase. We already know what June's month is if you see their Instagram. So follow them on Instagram or check it out. It's on their, it was on their story. And yep. they posted a picture. Yep. So, ready? Ready. And their wrapping paper is always amazing. And the sides are taped. Oh, Ooh. no! <laughs> the one side's taped. Okay. <laughs> We're good? Okay. Box is open. Wait. Barrel do 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 do. Nice transition. <laughs> Ready? Oh, <laughs> you ripped the wrapping! No! <laughs> I know what the theme is now, I just remember. Yeah. Oh yeah! The theme of this Boom. month is throwing shit at. 
Nice. Cheddar. 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 First, the shirt's on top, so let's go with this first. Throwing cheddar. Nice. Shirt is sweet. That is nice. Ooh. All right, next. Oh, would you look at this? We have. Oh, that's funny. Some armbands, and I need this for high school ball. Yep. Sweet. Coach asked them to bring their own armbands to practice this Perfect week. Time. Perfect. Perfect. Practice, please. Extend. Ah! Don't let go, because that would hurt. One, two, three. I think you're going to be doing a four, lot of that this week. Five. Six. Set like <laughs> <laughs> No, no. <Okay. laughs> Next. We got some home style mac and cheese ballpark seeds. Ooh. And they're making like, I saw one where they're making a churro flavor. What? What? Might have to cop. <laughs> mac and cheese seeds? Oh, it smells yeah. like mac and cheese. Hopefully these are good. I don't know about mac and cheese. That sounds interesting. We'll but I think they'll be pretty good. Yeah, it'll be good. Then, obviously, we got the monthly sticker. Throwing Chad. The cheesy balls. So, so the same movement when you start throwing these, the ball cuts. You get like a little ball bat or another bat, so that'll be fun. We'll have to experiment with that a little bit. Different angles. And then, and then, uh, this was in the last month's and this month's play crate, the golden ticket. Everyone got it this month. Unfortunately, I think it's too late for you guys to get the main one going by the time this comes out. But June is coming your way, right around the corner. coming your way, and it's gonna be awesome. So. Get yourself a flicker, job of scratches. We will scratch it, yeah. Like we always said, there's always some fun seeds, stickers, it's cool baseball related gear, shirts, more fun. Throw these around with the wiffle balls, and then there's always something training or useful. So either stretching, like that kind of thing, or sometimes there's training tools you can actually actually use in practice, but Fun, mixed with training tools, mixed with other stuff. That's why we love play crate showing up on our door every month. And before you guys know it, the June one will be here. So go get yours now while you can. It's everything you got. You okay? <laughs> I got a coin. Okay. Shorter. You went all the way upstairs for a coin? You know, I have, have one right in my purse. Here, right? Why am I sweating? <laughs> Are you serious, AZ? Come on. So I can't show you. I might have to get some. But we got a $10 gift card for PlateCrate.com. Get your monthly PlateCrate because it's a instant cop. All right, thanks Josh from Play Crate. We love getting your guys' crates every month, especially this guy right here. Um, but now that we got that done, I think Jack and I, are you going Mason? It's actually, we're going yeah. to the store. Mason's friend, it's his birthday today. Happy birthday, Nathan. So we're gonna pick him up. Sorry your gift's gonna be late, but get him a card and a All little right. gift to send off. You already told him his gift's gonna be late. Well, that's good, because it's definitely gonna be late. <laughs> But we're gonna head off to the store. Thanks boys for bringing everything in. Mason's so sad because I want to get rid of the toaster oven and just switch to a plain toaster. Because of the air fryer, I feel like we don't really use the toaster oven all that much, but sometimes we do toast bagels and that kind of stuff. So I, I don't know, it's $40, seemed like a good deal. Toaster Went with it. Right Look, 4th of July plates. What else did we get? Toast oven right now. No! I know, he's no! dead. Um, this is why we went. I was out of laundry soap, <laughs> but we ended up with all of this. Oof. Mason was excited about these. Do you guys know that they make bigger size um, fruit snack? And the boys were making fun of me. Carol Baskin. <laughs> Carol Baskin shorts, apparently. We so I need to try, try those on and another pair of jean shorts. So I'll try those on. Um, boys were wanting snacky foods. The usual stuff. Okay, put it away. <laughs> Thanks. Dinner time. We grilled up some hot dogs. We got some salad. And I put tater tots in the air fryer only because I was out of room in the freezer, so they had to be used. <laughs> Making a hydrate. Yeah, hydrate. Were you drinking water all day? Yes, I was. Good, good. It's Sunday. It's actually Sunday afternoon. We kind of just were lazy today. I got up, made breakfast. I think I slept in. What time did I wake up? You were up early. I think I slept in until like 8. I know you guys are going to make fun of me. because really not sleeping <laughs> in. But, uh... It's Sunday. You guys guessed it. We've got NASCAR on. It's commercial right now, but. So I was watching baseball, but we got NASCAR. We're happy with this. 
Um, we're actually about ready to leave because this guy right here forgot to get deodorant. I, 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 it's not her fault, it's my fault, but I brought him after like a million times. Like, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I feel like I'm forgetting something. <laughs> That's what one forgetting? thing you don't want to run out of is deodorant. He's I don't care. I'll be stinky. It doesn't bother me. So I think we're going to make a quick trip up to Walmart, grab some deodorant. Was there anything else that we need to get? Oh, I was going to look for, um, do you guys have any suggestions on um, like hydration? I know the liquid IV hydration is supposed to be like the best. Have you guys used that yet? I'm going to look to see if Walmart has it um, and maybe try that for Mason because like you guys know he's starting practice this week and we have extreme temperatures going on. I just want to make sure that he's hydrated. Literally all he's had to drink today. No, he did. He had a little bit of milk with his breakfast this morning, but it's been water, 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 water. So while I'm at Walmart, I'm going to see if there's any kind of hydration. Um, I know last year I had, what's that emergency, emergency brand? I found it at Target. It was like hydration emergency brand and that seemed to help a lot. Hopefully I can find something like that, but I think we're about ready to head out and then we're going to come home. You guys, I think when we get home, Mason is going to pull out all of his gloves because it's probably one of the number one requests that I get, DMs, comments, that you guys want to see all of Mason's baseball gloves. So I think that we're going to- I'll mine in the mix too. Oh yeah, we have some old ones in the garage. We Very old ones. Too, yeah. All right, so let's head to Walmart and then stay tuned because we're going to go over his gloves. This kid was supposed to shower while I was gone. The heck? He got hungry apparently. Do you like the new toaster? This is uh, his snack apparently. Strudels. But got the deodorant and they did have liquid IV hydration, but I know Mason likes this. Plus he wanted this flavor and not the flavor that the liquid IV was offering. So went with that so this kid can stay hydrated. Cause some reason he likes to get dehydrated quickly and fast. We've learned our lesson, haven't we Mason? This is why we drink lots of water. All right, snack, and then shower, and then we can show off your gloves. Mm -hmm. Deal? Yeah? <laughs> and this kid now had his strudels. Maybe I should pull out some strawberries so we have something healthy, huh? But Jack's over here, he's hard at editing. He is editing the dugout crate, the sports crate. Pack and opening. Do, and do we want to say what happened? No, no, no. Don't no. say what you happened. You guys need to check the video because something straight fire. Would say it's maybe one of your best pulls ever, Mason. If not your best pull ever. I'd say possibly my best pull. Possibly his best card pull ever. Well, a single card that he pulled was probably. It was pretty amazing. Best card he ever pulled, and it's. I don't want to give you guys any spoilers, but just watch it because it's funny too. You'll you'll understand Mason's why after you reaction. watch it. But yeah. Click the Doc Blitz channel, go to that latest video. It should already be up by the time you guys are watching this, so you can find it. Okay. But it's it's pretty epic. His reaction is awesome and the card is insane. So it's just... it's it's pretty pretty awesome. I was sitting on the couch and just listening, not watching him um, film it, and just his voice, his reaction, I was like, Oh my gosh, what's going on? It's pretty awesome. <laughs> so you guys make sure you check out the video. Like Jack said, the links down below. Doc Blitz. D A W K B L I T Z. Just use the links. It's <laughs> well, I get comments like, how do you spell it? How do you spell it? There you go. That's, That's something I should have changed like 10 years ago. I, I know. Late, so. Sorry. It's so fun. <laughs> now, all right, guys, the moment you've been waiting for, at least I know some of you, quite a few of you, uh, Mason's going to go over his glove collection. We pulled them all out. Now, some of these gloves are very old. In fact, so old that they're actually his grandpa's gloves, Jack's dad's old gloves, so we pulled those out. Some of them are from back T-ball age. Um, quite a few of these were sent to Mason from our fans. We are so thankful for our YouTube fans that have sent Mason gloves over the past few years. Um, but I think what we're gonna do is probably start with the oldest gloves. So that would be Jack's dad's gloves. So I think we're gonna start off with Grandpa Bevo's gloves. Mace, you wanna yep. show those off? So we got, obviously, the old, really old timer gloves. <laughs> This that one, one's an Eddie Matthews glove. Eddie Matthews glove. If you guys play him, will be the show. There, there's an Eddie Matthews card right now, right? 92 overall, yeah. I have him <laughs> okay. on my team. And left you know what's funny about fun these fact. is Mason and I have actually gone out and played catch with these. Yeah, before. they have. Yeah. People That's drive by and get weird looks, but you really gotta... 
Well, I took the Matthews one. That one's a little bit better. This it was, one is like in the pocket here. Yeah. It was a lot harder to play baseball back then, huh? You played catch and uh, we, you gotta use two hands when you're playing with these. So that yeah. was yeah. Uh, Grandpa Vivo's or yeah. his dad. These were his from back in the day. Like these, are, this is an old, old Rawlings right here. And, then, and this one is, I don't even know if I can see. Oh my this gosh, probably not. This one. Goldsmith. Okay. This one was like uh, Grandpa Vivo's pretty much like softball glove. Probably. Softball when I was and probably like a baby. Sometimes. And then I actually did use this in. Little league maybe. Or yeah, I was one? younger than you. Definitely really? younger than you. But like I used this as like an, this is my infielders and my outfield glove. It was multi-purpose. Oh, that's cool. I was a glove freak. I loved gloves. And then uh, at some point, my dad bought me a first baseman mitt, which was awesome. Yeah. But I remember I used this for pretty much everything else. This was my infield outfield glove as a kid. So you're telling me this glove will look like, the, like that? Possibly, <laughs> but I think Actually, you're taking better I care. Think, I think I have a better chance with these newer gloves. It's so crazy just like, just look at this. Well, to be honest though, I didn't so take different. very good care. I mean, this got a ton of use. Yeah. I mean, it's missing stuff. It's a Glenn Becker. I think it's awesome. And then, uh, but, so you want to start over there? We kind of put them yeah. in order here. Oh, in order. So and this is, oh, you got more? Well, fun fact, uh, uh, Papa, so mm -hmm. your dad actually, yep. used to catch, he mm -hmm. said, and he had literally like a glove like this to catch. But a catcher's mitt, it was just, yeah, it, it was. Literally like. I'm sure it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, wow, the times have changed, huh, bud? Yeah. And he actually said he split his finger. He off. has, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's got catching it. A so scar. He has a scar. Yeah. All right, so we're moving over here. Was this T-ball then, Jack? T-ball-ish. Ish. Yeah. T-ball. Um, should put this good glove on. <laughs> so size of like a nine. So cute. Ten. And he used that and this a little bit. This is a ten inch. So he used. I no. think he got, no, you got both of these gloves about the same time. I don't think I this think, is 11. I think that's just the number of the brand. I don't even know what that yeah. says. But anyway, he used both of these in T-ball. I definitely remember this one. <laughs> okay, like, maybe it was that one then. Maybe this I'm one confused. had like, we put like the liquid stuff on it, I think. Or what so was maybe, it, the glove leather stuff? I don't stuff? remember. But he definitely oh, used these oh. when he was little. This one was... But we were vlogging back there. Beginning of club, pretty much. Yeah, this one was his club. This one was like the 9 year Nine year, okay. Yeah. So that was... So we do have videos that. of this glove? That one, I use. believe, if you go back to our oldest, oldest videos, you'll see And these those. are actually the same brand. So I went from this, and I was like, I really like this brand. And that was... The, yeah, and they were, in his younger days, he did like Mizuno. Yeah. He liked Mizuno gloves a lot. I'm a big fan of Mizuno gloves, too. Which is why we had and this, then this one was, and the next one. Well, this was 9 year also. This was his first... I First basement mitt. Oh, and so that one we got just got a saw. lot of use out of that one. Yeah, that thing is flippity floppity. <laughs> I mean, the MVP series. Yeah, we were definitely so many on Mizuno kick to start for sure. Because then his next glove that he bought yeah. for the infield and for pitching, you guys a have seen lot him of pitch pitching with that glove. With that glove yeah. a lot. And then that one was cool because it hides the ball real well. That was his first mm -hmm. like, the web actual, right like real glove purchase. Like that was. Starting here, like this one, we just bought him a glove to get him a glove. Mm -hmm. But this and this were the first two times where he went to the store and said, I like the feel of this one. I like the one. feel of this one yep. and I like that one. And then when this one started to go, I think the order was actually It was bad. actually this. Because yeah. so this, one, this one started to flip flop and yep. get bad. So we went and bought this Rawlings first baseman bit. Weren't we in a tournament? And we were like, oh boy, it might go. It was close to going, and I actually we went think to the we went Rawlings to the Rawlings store and bought outlet, this yep. is the Gamer Series, right? Yep. Gamer, which we so always said if you're like in desperate need and need a glove for the weekend, mm -hmm. both of these. The next two gloves he bought Not were Not even like desperate for the weekend, like these will literally last too. Well, they, they're like broken in I just meant like they're broken in like that. Like yeah. both of these, this was, um, it's okay. <laughs> needed that one. And so we got that because it pretty much came broken in. This was another one where he wanted, he played outfield on a Saturday. And we were yeah. staying the night in the East Valley in a hotel. And then he's like, Dad, he goes, I need I was bigger. using this one. He's using an like, 11 and a quarter inch glove in the outfield. He goes, Dad, he goes, I caught a couple balls today, but I was scared that it was, I just mm -hmm. didn't have enough reach. So he's like, I need a bigger glove. And I'm like, I'm like, and I turned to her, I'm like, We need an outfielder's glove. Let's go to the Raleigh store. Just see, find a good quality glove for not a lot. And we got this and it was pretty much broken in and ready to go the next day. So that, like we said, if you need a glove to work right away, Gamer Series Rawlings, definitely the way to go. And they're, these are what, two, three years old now? Like they're still holding up too. Yeah. It's not like they're, they're, they're good quality gloves. Moving on. 
A2000, right? This one you see him pitching with now a lot. That's and right. if you see him in the infield, not at first, that's usually the glove that you see him with too, is this glove right here. That one was sent to us by a fan, right? Also yep. this one too, which is awesome. Yeah. Yep. And this one he's breaking in, he's probably gonna end up using that one maybe to pitch. It's a little bit smaller glove than this. Yeah. This one is 11 and a half, that's 11 and a quarter, I believe, right? Yeah, that's- You would know better than me. Yeah, this is 11 quarter, this is 11 So and he's half. talked about using that one to pitch maybe yeah. because it's a little bit smaller. One. I broke in this one so much faster than this one though, just cause I knew I'd use this for pitching, mm -hmm. to be honest. And like, this is like, this is a bigger glove, but like, this is a smaller glove, but I can definitely break it in. However, Someone else sent him out this glove, <laughs> and because of the way the webbing is, he was debating on if he should like, ah. pitch with this glove instead of that glove. It's so. like, oh my god, I'm so lucky to have amazing fans. Yes, <laughs> you are. Yes, you are. Like, this is like a custom-made glove. Philly's custom-made glove. Like, that's just amazing. Mm -hmm. So he's been debating on what to do there. So yes. this, this is definitely, you've seen this a lot being used. This one, these are the three that he uses currently in-game, mm -hmm. for sure. And then these two, he's debating on maybe pitching with these moving forward. High school. <laughs> so this one is my A2K for a spaceman's mitt. So that glove, he's pretty much got broken in. It's pretty close to being, it's on the doorstep of game ready, but this glove is still solid. Yep. And so he said that he's going to continue to practice with that one. But he feels with more one. comfortable with that one right well, now. Well, no, he said in the game, time. if he's at yeah. first, he's going with this one. And I don't blame him. I would too. Mm -hmm. And that one is going to be like It'll get there. practice glove, but he's also realistically expecting this glove to be, you know, he can wear this glove his senior year yeah. at first base still. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, obviously you can see it's broken in. Actually, I got like this on it, but he doesn't. Mm -hmm. But you, uh... It's but, just so hard, because like... It's just, you gotta get that right feel, and, and with these, and I, I, I get it. At first, like you, I... Yeah, yeah. I prefer a floppy glove at first. I need a Not really everybody does. Do. When they're floppy like this, I feel like it's an extension of your hand. Like your hands are floppy. So personally, not everybody one? feels the same way. Some people love the hard, stiff yeah. gloves, like, but I look. I love it because it's, it, like I said, it just feels like an extension of your finger. This is your glove, isn't it? These two are mine. Yeah, oh, the these are, are mine. Oh, these are Jack's gloves. Okay. So, so this, this one, one was, again, also sent out by a fan of Mizuno because mm. they... You're a lucky duck too. I am a lucky duck too. Listen, <laughs> believe me, we are blessed. I cannot thank you guys enough. Even just watching this. Just I, watching the baseball the blogs. The fact that somebody sent us gloves and took time out of their day because baseball, sports in general, is an expensive, expensive. Mm -hmm. expensive, amazingly fun activity to do <laughs> and partake in. And we love it. But there are price, the hefty price that comes with it. We understand that. And we definitely appreciate it. But yes, this was the person that sent him out a glove said, and I'm looking at it, I'm like, why is there two gloves in there? But the notes, I remember the note too, said, you know, I'm sending your son a glove because I love watching the vlogs, and but I also feel like every dad that's playing catch with the son should have a nice new glove too. So I was like, I was like, okay, I did something too. And then this glove, I'm sure you guys have seen he it. Uses it times. all the time. I love this glove because <laughs> I, if I were at this point in time to pick out and design a glove, I would pretty much have designed something along these lines. And I've always loved Mizuno. I mean, we, Wilson Rawlings, Mizuno, I love all three, but I would have probably have designed a glove very similar to this. And then it showed up for me, and, then, and that was even better. And this was the deal of the day. This was literally <laughs> so good. So we were going. It was at a store. Sports in Sport, Authority. Sports Authority around before they closed down. Before they closed down. So literally the whole store. You guys know whenever stores close down, the whole store is like 60, 70, 80 percent off. Right. It was literally right about to shut down. We're just looking through stuff, you know, found just like it. basketball, baseball stuff, shirts, anything, and just cause. I'm pretty sure Mason found this. And then I look at Catcher's glove, and I'm just like kind of staring at, cause whenever I go in a glove, I'm pretty sure every baseball player or basketball player, like basketball, if you see a basketball, you, you start picking it up or dribbling it for a couple seconds at least. Or a baseball player, you grab a bat, or you grab like a glove and just start like yep. beating it or just squeezing it. Like it's just that's a you natural do. instinct that a sports store or just any store with any type of that. So that's what you do with that glove. And that well, I was just like staring at gloves. We were just looking at gloves, so and I was like, Dad, look at this. And no, he was like, like, he was like, hold on, wait a minute, how much is that? And he was like, that's the deal of the day. So it's like one hundred and <laughs> normally like one hundred and thirty, one hundred and forty dollars. And I would, I don't know much about Under Armour gloves, but it was like twenty bucks. Yeah. Nice. So I was, like, I was like, I'm raising a pitcher. He was younger then. He was probably you like three years old. You needed to catch ago. him. I was like, yeah, yeah, something yeah, like that. Like, I was like, I'm raising a pitcher, so I'm buying a catcher's mitt. Uh, Actually, at some point soon, I'm probably going to Now all the coaches gear. take it to yeah, warm up Yeah, now everybody pitch. uses this to warm <laughs> Where's up. Where's Jack's glove? I, I set it on top of the bag, and then yeah. that's the one they grab. This is because yeah. it's 
It yeah. pretty much came like broken in, kind of like these gamer series. Like it was ready to rock. So I was like, Dude, this is sweet. All right. So, so well, that's Mason's gloves. I, I wanted a young catcher when he was little, but he wouldn't do it. <laughs> we, now tried. Still catcher's man. we tried. So we, we tried. We tried. No. A little bit of everything as far as the gloves go. That's for sure. Yes, we have quite a few gloves there. But uh, what's your guys' favorite brand of glove? What are you using right now? Leave a comment down below. Let us know what your favorite is. Jack's outside. He is grilling up some chicken that has been marinating all day. I'm super excited. I'm about ready to put some zucchini and squash in the air fryer. We got some rice going and some corn that I'm gonna mix in with the zucchini. Jack brings us chicken. Oh, it looks yum. Thanks for grilling. Mason's still over here hydrating. But you guys know the drill, it's Sunday night. We're gonna go ahead and end the vlog. As always, thanks for watching. We will see you next time. <laughs> or to subscribe, like this video, and comment in the comment section. And to check that out in the sky for us to be adventures, and let's try to go adventures. And to press the bell down below so you're notified when we post the next video. And to check out next.